An island is an isolated landmass surrounded by water. They are formed by volcanic, tectonic and eustatic processes. Islands harbour weird and wonderful animals which are found nowhere else. To many scientists, they are considered laboratories of evolution. These are the best places to observe major evolutionary ideas. Adaptive radiation is the evolutionary concept which explains what happens when plants and animals colonize a new area of land with many empty niches. Consider a hypothetical island which has no bird species. This island suddenly becomes colonized by a single lucky bird species. There is plenty of food on this island, including insects, nuts, worms, seeds and fruit. The bird species will quickly diversify into multiple different forms, each of which is specialized in eating one particular type of food. This leads to a more rapid rate of evolution for these birds. This is what Charles Darwin noted in his Galapagos finches. He realized that the beaks of finches were specialized for their particular food source. This realization was a critical moment in the development of the theory of evolution, which was outlined in his evolutionary work on the origin of species. Birds are the most common beneficiary of this concept because they are typically the first vertebrates to reach new lands, such as newly formed volcanic islands. Foster's Rule, otherwise known as the Island Rule, explains how island creatures often become smaller or larger than their mainland counterparts, leading to dwarfism or gigantism. If islands do not contain enough resources for a given animal, only the smaller individuals will survive and pass on their genes. This leads to island dwarfism. Conversely, islands with increased resources and reduced predation pressures give rise to larger animals, which leads to island gigantism. Many islands contain their own unique versions of this concept. All of the animals which will be subsequently mentioned are endemic to their island homes. New Zealand broke away from the Australian landmass between 60 and 85 million years ago. Since then, animals have evolved independently to the rest of the world. In the absence of land mammals, birds have filled the majority of typically mammalian niches. An extinct ratite, known as the moa, filled the niche of large land-dwelling herbivores. These flightless birds reached up to 3.6 meters in height and weighed close to 230 kilograms. This unprecedented size was a result of island gigantism due to low predation pressures. In the absence of mammalian carnivores, moas were preyed upon by the largest eagle to have ever lived, known as the Haas seagull. These eagles were much less effective apex predators than their mammalian counterparts, which allowed the moa and others to reach such incredible sizes. Madagascar was and is home to an incredible number of endemic species. These include the extinct elephant bird, which weighed up to 730 kilograms, and the giant fossa, which was an extinct relative of the mongoose. Other examples of island gigantism are seen with the Galapagos giant tortoise, which weigh up to 420 kilograms and are the largest known tortoises in the world. Insular dwarfism is similarly prevalent on islands. There was once a close human relative known as Homo floresiensis. These people lived on the Indonesian island of Flores until around 12,000 years ago. The limited resources available to humans on this island led to the survival of only the smaller individuals, and so their average height was a modest 1.1 meters. On this same island, there is also fossil evidence for dwarf elephants, which were a mere 1.5 meters in height. Pygmy parrots of the islands of New Guinea are no less than 8 centimetres long, while the extinct Cretan mammoth of Greece was the smallest mammoth to have ever lived, with a shoulder height of just one metre. Islands give rise to many endemic species which evolved to best suit the specific ecological, climatic and geographical conditions of the island. This can lead to a concept known as convergent evolution. This is when two or more groups of animals independently evolve similar traits despite being completely geographically and genetically isolated from each other. The thylacine or Tasmanian tiger is an extinct marsupial which is remarkably similar to the modern wolf. These two animals evolved their similar characteristics completely independently from each other as Australia has essentially been an island throughout this evolutionary time. It is alarming to think that humans are more closely related to wolves than the thylacine. Another example of convergent evolution is the catcoat, which is a ratite that has taken the ecological niche of a rabbit. However, the introduction of rodents to New Zealand by humans has almost driven them to extinction. 
This has led humans to intervene, taking the remaining four kakapo to a remote island off the coast of New Zealand and decimating all non-native rodents and allowing the kakapo to naturally recover to a population of now 50. Time and time again, major island animal groups disappear with the arrival of humans. The Maori people arrived in New Zealand around 1200 AD. In just 800 years, 60% of all endemic New Zealand bird species have gone extinct. For example, the giant flightless moa lived in New Zealand for millions of years unchallenged. It then vanished in a period of less than 200 years upon the arrival of the Maori people. No land-dwelling predators preyed upon these birds, so they were totally unequipped to defend themselves against humans and were quickly wiped out. This indirectly wiped out the Hast seagull and caused the shift across the whole ecosystem. Similar fates are seen in Australia. Since the arrival of humans 45,000 years ago, 23 of the 24 animals which weighed more than 50 kilos have gone extinct. Researchers from a 2018 paper termed Islands Cul-de-sacs of Evolution, they found a whole group of extinct Eocene mammal fossils in Turkey. Around 45 million years ago this area was an island. It was concluded that these animals evolved to suit their unique island ecosystem and were then completely unprepared to deal with the outside world when this island rejoined the mainland. Islands contain amazingly unique and diverse ecosystems, however this is also their major downfall. They are incredibly sensitive habitats which struggle to adapt to radical changes. So don't blame humans for wiping out animals. They were doomed from the moment they became endemic. The most successful organisms on the planet are not those with the most interesting characteristics, but those that have the greatest ability to adapt. The most interesting and unique aspects of island fauna are what makes them so sensitive to extinction.